Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Dunn, author of While Nobody Is Watching, which I will tell you a little bit about in just a minute. Um, but first, the Dingle Literary Festival is on its way, and I, for one, in this year, like no other, cannot wait to be a part of it. And in the run-up to it, we're doing a little thing called Writers at Their Desks, which makes me picture myself at a beautiful, ornate desk with the soundtrack of flowing water and birdsong while I write my next masterpiece. But the reality is, I'm in my garden. I'm here hiding from my toddler. And that's how an awful lot of my writing gets done. There is no one location in my life at the moment that hasn't been taken over by Mickey Mouse and his entire family. So that's how I write. I write wherever, whenever I can. But to be fair, I can't blame motherhood and my lovely little girl for that. I've always been a bit like that. It's been a case where I've never been tied by word counts or daily writing goals I just I have a story in my head and I will sit down any chance I get and I will write until until I'm interrupted until life comes calling again or until I lose daylight either one it just happens it just flows whenever and wherever I can and that's that's the way I am I suppose even with my with my the structure of my stories I don't have a beginning a middle and an end when I start writing I have an idea I have maybe characters in, in in this case I had two characters that I just absolutely fell in love with and the story just developed around that as I started writing the rest just kind of happens and I'm as surprised sometimes as anybody by what happens next or by what happens at the end or you know that twist in the tale I don't see that coming until it actually happens which is great actually that's why I love what I do I love writing for that exact reason and um, and I suppose I would have been used to always, you know, having a book with me any time I left home. I would never leave without a book. But when I'm in the middle of a project, when I'm in the middle of writing something, I never leave home without my laptop. So you could see me in anywhere. You could see me pulled in. Like I live in Cove, which is absolutely beautiful when you get a nice day. It's gorgeous. So you could see me sitting in, you know, looking out the harbour in my car even with my laptop. I could be anywhere. And I just love it. I love that. I love the, the flexibility of it. I love being able to just, you know, I suppose when it suits me and when I'm able, I get the words on paper. And that's that's what counts. Um, so, yeah, so this is my book at the moment, While Nobody Is Watching. And it's published by the lovely people at Bad Press Inc. in the UK. Um, and it's, it's a thriller based on the streets of Cork. And it tells the story of Lindsay Ryan, who is an Irish Army veteran who is currently living with PTSD um, and she, she has a whole new career now. So she's working with the troubled youth of Cork City. So you have a whole host of characters there. You have your, your very troubled young people, you have your, your addicts, you have your hookers, you have your, you know, you have your ex-military characters like Lindsay, who just, I suppose she is just dealing with everything that life and everything that PTSD and mental health can possibly throw at her. And she's doing it basically by herself. She she hasn't told anybody in her new life about her background or about what's going on or, you know, any of that. So she she the how she deals with it is by putting herself in harm's way any chance she can, really. She's daring the world to do its worst and she's living a very, very, very high risk lifestyle. So needless to say, um things things do go very, very wrong for her. Um, she's she's throwing herself into the lives of some very troubled young people. She's she's putting herself among these people that that she really shouldn't. Um, so yeah, so she's she's attracted the attention of a stalker as well, which for somebody with PTSD who sees threats everywhere, it's very hard to know what threats are real and what threats are down to her 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 PTSD. So yeah, so that's why nobody is watching and it is currently available in any bookshop or it's available online wherever you like to buy your books from. Do try to support your local bookshops where possible though. Um, if they don't have it, they can get it for you. So always give them the first opportunity if you can. And in the meantime, I will talk to you. I'm so looking forward to the Dingle Literary Festival where I will actually be chatting with Cathy Kelly, the wonderful, wonderful Cathy Kelly. Um, I would love to be able to say I'll see you all in Dingle, but unfortunately not this year, but we will do our very, very best and we will have a great festival. Thank you. Take care.